Welcome to General Biology. Today's video is going to be on cell division and the cell cycle. So we have many different types of cells in our body and a lot of them divide at different rates. We have some cells in our body that will divide every 24 hours. Things like uh, the cells that make our red blood cells and skin cells and the lining of your digestive tract and your fingernails and hair. Those types of things divide at a really rapid rate. We have other cells in our body that divide at a slower rate, um, mostly only when needed. And those things are like liver cells and uh, the other organ cells. And then we have other cells in our body that once they're fully developed, they just stop dividing. Things like muscle cells and uh, nerve cells. The cell is going to spend most of its time in what we call interphase. So interphase is G1, S, and G2. Most cells are in G1 most of the time. And it's not unless they get a signal to divide that they are going to move into S and G2. <clears throat> Some of our cells will divide more often, and so those signals might come every day. Other cells, it might come every six months. Uh, the signal might come every couple of years or just when necessary or whatever. So different cells divide at different rates, but most of our cells are going to be in G1 most of the time. And we actually have a name for that, and it's called G0. Okay, so when you are in G1 and you're kind of stuck in G1 doing your everyday job, we call that G0. So basically cells come out of G1 and go into G0, which is a, a resting phase from cell division. And basically they just do their job and function uh, normally. And then when needed, when they get a signal at a later time, they will come back into the cell cycle. Uh, unless we're talking about muscle and nerve, and then they just stay in G0 permanently. When cell division, when the signal for cell division happens, then the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, check our DNA to make sure all the DNA is intact and looking good. And if everything looks good for the cell and the cell is ready to divide, then we will replicate the DNA. And that happens during the S phase. S stands for synthesis. So we are going to synthesize another copy of our DNA so we can give a copy of the DNA to each of the two new cells. And then we roll into G2. G2 is a uh, phase after S where we're just kind of getting ready for mitosis. Um, we're going to duplicate some of the organelles that weren't duplicated earlier. We need to duplicate our centrioles. We need to duplicate our Golgi and make a bunch more uh, mitochondria and ribosomes, things like that. And then the DNA gets checked for any replication errors that might happen when we replicated the DNA. And those are corrected. And then we basically just prepare for the start of mitosis. And then mitosis is going to be the actual dividing up of the chromosomes and the nucleus so that we're ready for cell division. So when, a, when we get to mitosis, that's when the chromosomes become visible. And we'll talk about net mitosis in the next 